on everybody it's your favorite auntie mo we are back for another episode review of catfish this is season 7 episode 36 charlene and james before we get into the review if you have not done so just yet go ahead and subscribe to my channel y'all come on damn do it let me know you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down and hit the notification button so you will be up to date whenever i upload new content y'all this episode was kind of boring. I mean, it was interesting because of who I thought the catfish might actually be, but the entire episode itself, meh, it was boring. So, um, let's go and get it right on into the review. Neve's co-host this time is Cami Crawford. Again, I love Cami Crawford. She is so doggone cute. But we have Charlene. She's 21. She's been talking to a guy named James, 23. Now, Charlene and James are both Native American. James is from the Zuni tribe. Charlene is from the Navajo tribe, right? Now, from what Charlene was saying, the Zuni tribe and the Navajo tribe are kind of like rivals. And so their romance is sort of like a Romeo and Juliet type of thing, right? Um, she says that they met online and and so they started talking from there. Things kind of developed quickly. He says that he was next in line to be chief of the Zuni tribe. He also tells her within a month of them talking on the phone that he's in love with her. So of course that just made her fall head over heels in love with him, right? They immediately started talking on the phone every day and she says within a few months shit got weird that he would um, disappear. He was saying that he had to go out of town for a few days, few weeks or whatever at a time. Then all of a sudden, she says the next day that she woke up, she got a text message from his sister Maya saying that James had died. So she says she was heartbroken. She told her mother about it. Her mother is a medicine lady. Her mother was able to see that he was not dead. He was actually up and was walking the earth. So she says she texted James back and was like, motherfucker, you ain't dead. My mama told me you ain't dead. She see your ass walking around. So he replies back, like, oh, okay, my bad, I'm sorry, I have to explain something to you. She like, what the hell? So they end up meeting up with Charlene to get some more information about this guy named James, right? Now, she tells them that, um, she hadn't talked to James in in a little while that they're kind of the communication kind of went off or whatever. He told her that he was moving keys, like he had lost 10 to 15 keys or something like that. That was a story that he gave her right before supposedly him dying. That he was he had lost 10 to 15 keys. Now Charlene, bless her heart. She's so damn naive. She didn't even know what the hell keys was. They like keys of coke, keys of drugs. Like, what the hell were you talking about? And so right after that is when she got the phone call say, or the text message claiming that um, he had died. Now back up one thing, she says that she would send him voice messages, but he would only text reply her back. She's never actually talked with him on the phone. They've only texted each other. And so Neve is like, okay, do you think that it could be your, your friends or your family? She has this one girl that she's really close with. She says that they're sisters through their Navajo tribe. They're not actually blood sisters, right? And so this girl's name is Nicole, right? And so Nicole, she seemed kind of sketchy from the jump. That was just me, but she claimed to be her best friend. And so, of course, Neve and Cammie ask her, do you think it could be your best friend? Because you say you can only text this person. This person can never call you back, right? And so she's like, no, I know it couldn't be Nicole, you know, yada, 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 right? And so Neve and Cammie go off to the little cafe that they go to and, you know, they do their little investigation that they do. And so as they're doing the investigation, one of the owners of the shop overhears Neve saying that um, James claimed that he was in line to be the next chief of the Zuni tribe. Now, the owner of the restaurant, where they're at, it's a lot of uh, Native American um, territory that's there. And a lot of the people that work, the well, majority of the people that work in there are Native American. And so the owner is like, you know, there's there's no allegiance in that. Nobody says that they're going to be the next in line for chief. Everybody is voted on. And if you are, you don't know that you're going to be, you know, you're, you're, whatever position that you're going to get. But there are no chiefs. And so automatically they could tell, okay, well, they could rule that shit out. That motherfucker was lying about that. They try to do an image search on the name. They don't get nothing on the name they don't get nothing on any pictures and nothing that they do right and so they end up sending a message back to Charlene it's like well what is the the name of your best friend or you know who is your sister her name is Nicole James so they're like okay now wait a minute now 
hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. So later on, they end up meeting up with Charlene, and they tell Charlene everything that they find out, that they weren't able to find out much on them, but they do know that the motherfucker ain't lying up to be no goddamn cheap. So the only next thing that they have to do, only other thing they can do is call them because they don't have no any other way to get in contact with them, right? So Charlene was like, well, I'll send them a text message. So she sends them a message is like, look, you know, I need to meet up with you. If you trying to get with me, you trying to make this whatever real, I need to meet up with you now, never, motherfucker, what's good? So she ends up getting a text message back from Maya, his sister, saying that he had gotten arrested, girl. Which we already know, he was full of crap, full of shit. He ain't getting no damn arrested. So Neve ends up texting from his phone and was like, look, this is Neve from Catfish, what's good? We trying to meet up, if this is really you, you really claim that you in love with Charlene, come on, we trying to go down there, we trying to be where you at or whatever, right? They don't respond back to Neve, but they respond back to Charlene saying that um, the sister, Maya, claiming that he's in jail. She's trying to get him out right now. If she can get him out, it wouldn't be no problem if they met up, yada, 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 right? So Charlene is like, fuck this shit. Let's go on down there to the police station and actually see if he got arrested, if he got locked up. So that's what they did. They hopped on in the car and went down to, I think she said it was um, Tuba City. That's where he had gotten arrested at. They end up going to the actual police station, talk with the police officer, come to find out they ain't got nobody there by that name that got arrested, so they know he's lying. So Neve, with his smart investigative ass, he has that um that little ping app thing where you text somebody a link, and once they click on that link, and they uh, it'll pop up to the other person that sent it to them, the location of where they're at, right? So... They call the number back, or she texts the number and was like, look, I know you're not in jail, and I'm down here in Tumi, or Tuba City or whatever, and I know you're not in jail. So whoever is on the other line texts back and was like, damn, well, I'm not actually there. I'm actually here somewhere else, which again, they know he's lying. So Neve ends up sending a text message with that link. The person who's on the other link clicks on the other line clicks on that link and come to find out it's right there where they are in the exact city where they claim that James got arrested at. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. So they end up going to the address that they find out from the little ping after they did or whatever, right? And at first, Charlene actually says that she recognizes this road or whatever that they're driving down. She thinks that it may be because she's freaking out. She's like, oh shit, this is like the road going to my mom's ex-boyfriend's house. Like, what if this is him? So they end up going to this house. Come to find out it's some 18-year-old girl named Maya who is gay, right? Now, Maya claims that she started the page after losing her sister to, I think, a car wreck. Somehow or another, she ended up losing her sister. She didn't have anybody to talk to. She was looking for love, and she was looking for an outlet, right? So she claims she started this page just to get out there and to build relations and connections with other people. It was not actually that she had feelings for Charlene, right? Now, another thing that Neve... Um, got from the people when he was in that little cafe or whatever when he had talked to the owner of the restaurant being um, gay or lesbian in the the Indian or Navajo tribe is completely looked down upon it is not accepted you are disowned it is not what they do period so if somebody were to be gay that was something that they would have to hide they couldn't come out about that right so later on, they finally end up sitting down with Maya and getting Maya to admit that that was her way of basically living out her being her true self and being gay and being a proud gay woman because she can't do that. She can't come out in, you know, the, the, the city or whatever that she is because, again, she'll she'll get shunned out you know her family won't accept her she'll she'll just you know it's it's not accepted even charlene you know she could kind of tell you could tell that she wasn't with that you know what i'm saying she was like you know we had intimate conversations you know i sent this person pictures of me in intimate ways and so she was embarrassed by it and maya was even saying you know when this gets out to everybody you know everybody's gonna look at me and you know judge me and look at me wrong and so you know i completely apologize if that comes back on you any kind of way so that's what it turned out to be was this girl named maya who basically was afraid to come out as being gay so she hid behind this facade of james on the internet the whole time ended up meeting charlene some kind of way fell in love with charlene 
Charlene wasn't feeling her ass back. Two months later, when they do their little update, Charlene says that Maya had tried to reach out to her a couple of times, and she just responded by like, yeah, I'm good or whatever, but kept it pushing. Same with Maya. Maya says that she tried to reach out to Charlene, but Charlene never really responded back. And so the both of them are back going on, living their lives. Charlene is, you know, looking for love. Um, Maya claims that she's not out there catfishing nobody no more. And y'all, that was pretty much the end of the episode right there. Like I said, it wasn't really not really a whole lot went on now had it been a best friend that was a catfish that'd have been good but it ended up being some random girl that no nobody even knew but yeah y'all that was catfish hope you guys like the review please like comment subscribe share and i will see y'all in the next video peace out what's up y'all do me a favor and share the video please make sure to subscribe to my channel let me know what you think and um hit that notification button so you will be up to date when i upload my latest videos i have